We are so excited. We have Sarah Jensen, the co-founder, co-CEO of Hue and Grace today. Myself, Jamie Pfeiffer, I am an NTP, that's a nutritional therapy practitioner, and Jamie Schmidt as well. And we have about 15 minutes to talk to Sarah and pick her brain about this company. So I'm just going to throw it over to you, Sarah. We would love to hear from you how the idea for this company, Hue and Grace, came to fruition. Yeah, so thank you, Jamie, both Jamies. Um, my name is Sarah Jensen. I'm the co-founder, co-CEO, and mama to Hugh and Grace. You know, my husband and I decided to start this company after a very long personal struggle. We struggled with unexplained infertility for 14 years, and we were never able to get pregnant. Um, I, we were healthy. You know, I was an ultra marathoner. My husband was in CrossFit. We ate healthy. You know, did, did everything quote unquote right. It was our, we spent all the very successful careers and we spent every dollar on, on fertility treatments and on therapy. And we made huge lifestyle changes. Um, the doctor told me I was ultra marathon. I really enjoyed running. He had me stop running. Um, I hate needles. I was doing acupuncture three times a day. I couldn't progress in my job because I had to be at multiple doctor's appointments every single week. It was during my sixth round of IVF at one of the best doctors in the world. I had broke down my doctor's office. I just said, what else can I do? I, 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 I want to have a baby. And he said, what, what chemicals are you spraying around your house? And what skincare and wellness products are you using? Because that impacts your hormones. And I had never thought about it. And it was kind of like this light bulb moment went on for me. Because I during all my rounds of IVF, I was prescribed a hormone cream. And I rub a small amount in my leg at night. And I get my blood levels tested the next day. My hormones had spiked. I'm like, oh, that small cream, amount of a cream could impact my hormones. Everything else could. And the amazing part of our story is my husband's sister volunteered to be our surrogate and she gave birth to our little Hugh. And then a year later, my sister called me and said, I want to try to give Hugh a sibling. And she gave birth to our daughter, Grace. So the name Hugh means heart, mind, and spirit. And Grace means goodness, generosity, and love. And after having our kids, and I just I felt, first of all, we felt so fortunate. So for, fortunate, first of all, that we, we could afford all of the, the doctor's treatments and everything that we could. But now we had our two little miracles. And when we were initially learning about the topic of hormone disruption, we were just thinking of fertility because that was our sole focus for 14 years. But as we dove into the research, and we did a ton of research. When you're diagnosed with something unexplained, you <laughs> it's crazy. You want to know everything that's going on. And we saw these chemicals were linked to also anxiety and depression and obesity and cancers. And the list went on and on and on and on. And, and I thought, Ben... We, we know something a lot about a topic that really impacts everybody. And our professional careers, my husband was operating a multi-billion dollar office, family office out of Beverly Hills. I am at my MBA from USC. And I was working with most of our, a lot of our billionaires across the country, asking them and helping them raise um, make legacy gifts. So tens of millions of dollars fundraising. And so I said, we have the most amazing professional network. And we know about this topic that really impacts everyone. And how do we pay forward what we were given? How do we share share with others and help them have have healthier, simpler, easier lives? Because it was it was so impactful. Like we were very strong individuals. What we went through nearly broke us, our marriage, multiple multiple times. So first, my husband said no. He's like, I just want to enjoy your kids. <laughs> and then he saw it. And he's like, we, we need to do this. We we can't not do it. And so we resigned with a new roles. We had a newborn, a barely two year old, and we started calling our networks. And we had introductions to CEOs of the top beauty, uh, skincare, wellness, home care, other product verticals, CEOs. of their very top product manufacturers in the world in different product categories that young brands never get to see, never get that attention. But because of our introductions, because also the meaning of what we're doing, we're not creating a brand just to create a brand. This is this. It, we, we couldn't have kids. This is something that impacts us. And, you know, it's so interesting. And our community is, is absolutely incredible. And now we're going to talk about that. But we have people who come to us who are cancer survivors. We have people who come to us who are sober. And they say that the community that they've found here, that it's inclusive and it's supportive and it's real, has been something that is just, um, it, it means so much. Um, and then like, when we talk about why we chose this business channel. When we were first um, saying, okay, how do we go to market? If we, and we were formulating a product six, seven years ago, people are talking about hormone health. Now they were not talking about it back then. Okay. And we said, okay, if we're truly, if we, if people, if people don't know they have a problem. We have, like, we can't just sell products on a shelf. We need to create awareness and that and includes education and content and community and products. And that's direct sales. And we said, how do we modernize direct sales? How do we make it where it meets people where they are, where 
you know, um, my favorite Harvard business case study was on Brownie Weiss. She was a woman back, woman back in the 50s who invented the Tupperware party. He, she, you know, she knew Mr. Tupper. He had a great product. She had no way to sell it. And she created this whole platform that changed so many lives. And I remember after this business case study, watching her, on the, we saw this black and white video of her at a conference and recognizing women on stage. And these women just cried. And I, and I say that because they, they, were, they had such confidence. You know, they, they were doing things they never thought they could do. And that has a huge ripple effect. When someone is confident, they're a better friend. They're a better human being. <laughs> they're a better mother. They're better at their, their roles. And it's, it was so, so impactful. And I, I remember looking at, back at that. I'm like, Ben, how do we do this? How do we make that modern? How do we elevate it? And so we have people, we could be with retailers. We have affiliates. We have advocates. And like some of the retailers that partner with us are, are absolutely incredible. The Four Seasons shows us as one of their th three brands they select every year for corporate gifting partners. And we're, our products are featured at the Waldorf Astoria's premier spa at the Grand Mylea. Um, we have, I mean, Bentley with cars. Just, they just featured our products at last car launch in Beverly Hills. I mean, they reached out to us, which is absolutely incredible. We, we didn't pay for that. But I think people are just under, starting to understand the topic of and the importance, the true importance of hormone health. Hormone health impacts your physical health, your mental health, your sexual health, your skin health, I mean, longevity. I mean, so many things in life and people just feel overwhelmed. They don't know what to do, where to start. And we're like, hey, what goes on in around your body impacts your hormones. Let's start with some home, you have home, home care, skincare, wellness. These are products you're already using. You can, we call it simple swaps. Simply swap them out for better products that are hormone supportive, that are gender neutral, that are safe for kids, safe during pregnancy, and actually make a truly can make a huge impact on your life. Um, one of the, oh, Sorry, go. <laughs> no, no, I was just saying it. every time I hear you speak, I get chills because I truly feel like the more I started learning and I've been here about to hit my one year mark, I feel like, oh my gosh, we have to build awareness. And that's what I felt since minute one is your commitment to building awareness, not just selling products, but the education and the classes you've provided for us and our customers. Like that to me is what's different. That we're not just selling products. We're spreading no, no. the message. No, um, so one step we learned, so during so the average American woman puts on 12 products a day, which is 168 chemicals a day. The average man puts on over 80 chemicals a day and we're exposed to hundreds more in our, in our environment. You know, and I think people like, you want to be you. <laughs> like I tell people, I'm like, I do Botox. I guys, I, 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 I have my vices, you know, my kids <laughs> do McDonald's on occasion, you know, it's, it's not great, but like you, you want to be you, but you're like, you know, think about what you do every day. Like, what is your morning routine? What is your night routine? What are the things that you can actually focus and control? Because I think sometimes people hear this topic and they feel overwhelmed. They're like, I can't do anything. I'm not even going to try. I'm like, no, like, like the more, our, the routine, our morning routine for three products, three minutes, first thing in the morning will change your life. Mm -hmm. And I think people, once they feel that, like you start your day and there's like, oh, a little more mindful, then things go better. Um, I was going to say, uh, oh my goodness, I forgot. Okay, go, Jamie. Go. <laughs> I'll throw it over to Jamie Schmidt. Yeah, she. Uh, uh, no, I, I just love that story. I just, yeah, the, it's such a heartfelt story. It's so awesome. I just, every time I, Every time I hear it, I just love it. And um, and I I am a pharmacist um, by nature. I was I practiced in retail pharmacy for 20 years. Now I own a wellness clinic and I just love being able to carry our pro your products <clears throat> here in our wellness clinic and be able to offer that to our clients. That is something that's so important to me. And so I'm just kind of wondering, like when you guys are developing a new product, what are the most important aspects in regard to product quality and formulary transparency, formulator transparency that you can share with us? Yeah. And so, you know, it's interesting, even our, like talk about culture, brand culture, like we didn't want to have a no list. Cause I think a lot of companies just focus on what they're not like, Oh, we would never use chemicals and they don't really focus on the benefits of the products. So of course we will not put any chemicals ingredients that will impact your hormones. Cause that was so crucial to why we have, our, we started our business, but we want to talk about the, the benefits. So I'm not going to put my kids' names on products that are not absolutely incredible. <laughs> you have my word. <laughs> and, but our product verticals are detox, repair, protect. Yes, they are luxurious. Yes, they are anti-aging. Yes, they like they make you feel good, but they need to have real true benefits. And so with that, when it, it was these expert product formulators that we have, the best in the world. And then we go and we hire, we have world-renowned doctors on our medical advisory board. Um, one of our medical advisors, her name is Dr. Jenna Fah. She, um, she created the very first chemical exposure test, urine test. And then she's actually now creating a, a, her 
evolving her company where she's actually physically testing products. No other company tests products. You see all these ratings and, I mean, and they just look at the ingredients list and they rate your products based on your ingredients list. They actually don't physically test the product. And unfortunately, a lot of these companies, they take 3% of your revenue to be listed up there. And I'm like, that's a lot. Especially when you're trying to, you, you want to build a scalable business and like, we're not going to give people 3% for them to say that our products are great. We want to work with our world-renowned doctors and our world-class formulators. We do outside QA. We have an expert person that comes in, tests our facilities, and then we, we publish our, our, trans, our transparency. We have our COAs for advocates. And so we work our best to, like, I do want to say also, no one's perfect. And we are definitely not perfect. <laughs> um, we, everything's progress, not perfection. And so but we have a, we have the highest, highest standards of the products out there. So good that their kids want to use our products. You know, you want products that people want to use and that they can really feel good using. Yeah, I, my skin has completely changed. I was breaking out so bad before I switched to our skincare and I could not figure it out. So I took all these products. I'm like, okay, just a bar soap and my morning serum. That's it. Like it's so but, simple. So simple. And you think also wellness, you need detox from inside out. And so mm -hmm. when you start doing this whole, whole holistic on and around, you're like, oh my gosh, this, this works. And like what I had cystic acne, I had terrible melasma during all my runs of IVF, the hormonal treatments. I'm like, I'm 46. My skin looks better now than it's ever. looked. <laughs> ever looked. And that, and that on the quality that's, you know, because I, I wanted to align with products that I could offer to my nutrition clients that I truly believed in. So I did start with the gut health line because I was suffering my, myself with gut health issues. And I had tried every probiotic on the market. And after a couple of weeks, I went, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like I have never felt as good. My stomach wasn't bloated after every single meal. And that's when I was studying the same, um, along the same lines of mineral deficiency and then seeing what's in our hydrate detox and seeing in our morning supplement of why I needed these minerals. And it was just like this light bulb, like I have to have these products that I can truly stand behind. And then when I offer some of that, when I put that in the recommendations report that I feel a hundred percent secure that I'm, I'm telling them, like, I know this product is amazing and this will not do any harm. So that for me, and then when, now that I've been here a year, surpassing the products the fact that the corporate team and the culture is so beautiful to me here that i can i craig's probably like oh here's jamie again so i can text craig i can text amanda anytime i have a question about what was in the triple boost anytime i need kelly she hops on the phone with one of my advocates the culture is just beautiful and it feels truly like a little family and i i can't even describe the feeling coming out of elevate because there's no pretense you know, you and Ben are sitting right there with us in the trenches. You're traveling around the country in your RV, you know, pounding the pavement alongside of us. And it just feels like we're on this really cool mission that we get to do together. And every day I wake up like, oh, like I'm excited again. I'm truly excited. So I'm going to throw it back to Jamie then. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So basically, um, we can, you kind of touched on a little bit the different different aspects of of the network marketing. Um, but if you can kind of just explain that a little bit more in depth in depth with the comp plan. Yeah, and I thank you guys both because you Elevate was our conference last year last month in Nashville. Feels like last year already. Um, <laughs> You know, and, and you say it felt like family. So Ben and I, it took it more than just us two to create a family. There were a lot of people involved. And this company is so personal to us. So our advocates truly are our advocate family. <laughs> um, and so, okay, comp plan. Yep. So when we structured things, we said, how, how do we make this modern? And so we have our affiliate program. We have our advocate program. We have affiliate. We have retail. Advocates can enroll affiliates or retailers. You can go and you can, you can leverage your network and meet people where they are. Because some people want to build teams. Some people don't. Some people just want to have amazing products. Um, we have a volume-based compensation. We we reward, you know, it's interesting. Um, there's been a lot of disruption in the direct sales industry for, as of uh, recently. And a lot of these legacy companies, they've never changed their comp plan. Or they and then they, they go and they they can't, it's, they, they crumble. Um, or they sell products that are not, they're not differentiated. Or they go and they sell products that are not con necessarily consumable. Or it was just a brand that wasn't really a heart or a true mission to it, you know. And so I think people, I think there's a little bit of shakeup in this industry, but also you have to look at other, like not just direct sales, other companies are going out of business too. I went to a big uh, health and wellness event and they, they were speaking about in order to scale in today's retail economy, you need to have more than just great products and more even just great admission. You have a real community 
which we have, and you need to have an authentic brand story because people just don't want to be sold to. They don't want someone to tell them, like, well, I just created this company to create a company so I can make money. No, we, we will all make money. But our mission is so much bigger and more important than how much what, yeah, we will all think, you know, I want to say money is important. Money is important to, for a re, for a re, you know to pay your bills, but also money has impact. When my my, my last role, I would I worked with a lot of billionaires, and I would fly across the country and I'd go to Omaha and ask you for fifty million dollars over dinner. That was my role, and I work with people on a very real level because they're going to write that big of a check. I mean, I got to I was going to their kids' sports performances. I was going like but my, Ben and I were going to their homes in different states and, and really got to know like what 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 is your legacy. And these people, so I was so fortunate to be able to understand and work with owners of sports teams and huge, you know, CEOs, very important people. And I would see that they would some, they'd sell their businesses and go in deep depression. And it was so interesting to me to be like, wow, you have, you're successful and you don't have, like, you're, you're depressed. <laughs> and like, and so Ben and we finally had our kids. We said, what is our, what is Ben and Sarah's definition of success? Not, we were in Beverly Hills. Like, we're not as, what is not what everybody else's definition, what is ours? And our definition of success is to create, to be together, spend quality time with our family, travel. I do love travel, <laughs> I do go on trips, um, but really make real impact and do it with people who care, who are positive, who want to make an impact, who work hard, play hard. But it's, that is really truly such an honor for us to be able to partner with people like you and do that, that is what we want our legacy to be. That is what fulfills us and really, truly drives us every single day. I mean, you will not, <laughs> we, we work really, really, really hard. Our kids' names are on this business and we love them dearly and we're not going anywhere without, without them. But I think it's also interesting. We had somebody asked us before launching the business, they said, how do you know this to be successful? How do you know? I'm like, well, we figured out how to have two genetic children without me giving birth. Like, we figure things out. <laughs> and when you when you are so passionate about something and you know how tr how how this deeply impacts other people you can't not share it's something that i'm so driven to do and so yes we have an amazing comp we have an amazing plan we have an amazing team we have amazing products but what we're doing here is so much more special than just selling products it's really truly changing people's lives i don't think i could add anything onto that i think that was just amazing and I think Jamie and I were just talking about that point of like, I only want to work with advocates who come on, who feel that drive and that passion that I feel from you every time I hear you speak, the way I know I feel every day that I, I can't hold this in. I have to educate. And I think that's what Jamie and I are so excited as we're building a team who feels that way too. Because that's what we want. We want to keep the mission that you guys started and honor that and make sure we hold that sacred. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you a million times over for your time. Thank you. you. Okay. And thank you. We're doing this together. This is our yes. company. Yes. It's really yes. cool we can say that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you.